everybody, it's Bean and Bagel, and today we're coming to you from the Mitten, aka Michigan. So, if you guys aren't familiar with Tropical Smoothie Cafe, it is pretty much a smoothie cafe. <laughs> um, they have smoothies and they have food. Um, I've never really had their food, have you? I've tried their breakfast before. Maybe and I their have breakfast had one. was pretty good. I remember yeah. having it in Florida one time. I think I have had their breakfast actually now that you say it like a breakfast wrap mm -hmm. but yeah um we used to have a location that was close to us but sadly um it went away I think due to COVID so we're bummed about that there's still another one in Minnesota though but we thought as long as we're in an area that has a tropical smoothie we're gonna check it out so um I got this uh island green it has spinach, kale, um, pineapple, mango, and banana, which I like all of those things. And I like to get some greens in when I can, so <laughs> yeah. She's got a little Popeye in her. Mm -hmm. Mine is a uh, peanut paradise, but it looks like a styrofoam cup. Uh, it's called peanut paradise. It's got peanut butter, banana, non-fat yogurt, and um, you pick your choice of protein, and I put whey in there. So that's what this one is. Uh, this one is awesome. It's one of my favorite smoothies of any place that I've ever gone, ever <laughs> in my life. So high praise to Tropical Smoothie Cafe for Peanut Paradise, because it is a paradise. <laughs> Greg's a big uh, peanut lover, peanut butter lover, so kind of makes sense um, that he would pick that one and he is I'm a nut <laughs> I'm a nut lover he's a nut lover <laughs> that's right mm. Mm, mine's good I don't know there's something about it you get like the sweetness of the smoothie you know there's kind of it's not like super sugary but it's just got a sweetness to it that's really good Mm -hmm. You get the peanut butter, you get the banana, um, and it's good for, for like protein and stuff too. You got protein in it, mm -hmm. and um, I like that kind of stuff. Yeah, this one, they also have a detox version you can get with ginger. I almost went for that one, but I just decided to go for the regular sweeter option, I guess, today. But yeah, mine is pretty sweet. It tastes like it could possibly have some type of sweetener in it, but it's really good. You don't taste spinach or kale, you just taste the mango, pineapple, and banana mostly. So it's very uh, tropical and delicious. Sounds good. I like mm -hmm. mango, I like pineapple. You can try it if you want. Absolutely, I will. Can you try yours? Mm. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, I yours like is that. good too. Your, the color of it kind of throws me off when you say mango and pineapple because it's green. Yeah. But, uh, Yeah, I make green smoothies at home too. Greg is kind of the smoothie guy though. I call him the smoothie king. <laughs> he makes really interesting combinations of stuff. Um, probably more on the like dessert side of things, but they're very tasty. So, yeah, I liked yours though. Like it was very peanut buttery, which was good. Um, and then you could taste the banana, like you said. You can taste that protein taste a little bit, but it wasn't chalky, chalky at all. Like it just kind of tastes like a peanut butter milkshake almost. So it's pretty good. Tastes real to me. Like mm -hmm. it doesn't taste like something you'd get at a fast food restaurant. You can tell that they've put work into it. Not that fast food restaurants don't work, but they work hard. I've worked fast food and they're hard workers, but um, just the ingredients wise, they just put a little more care into these, I think, at the Tropical Smoothie Cafe. Agreed, yeah. And they're a pretty good size, you can see here, compared to my head. Um, <laughs> they are, I don't know, I think like five something, which I think it's pretty good for smoothies because smoothies can be expensive depending on where you get them from. So I feel like it's a pretty good deal. This is almost like too much for me. 
Um, it's probably not too much for Greg, but this is definitely like a meal smoothie. Um, it's a pretty good size. Yeah, that's a good point because, you know, you can get this for lunch or something. You know, stop True. in real quick and get one for lunch if you're having a busy day or something or if you travel for work. Mm -hmm. I've had to do that. You just stop in and get one of these things and it kind of, it's a quick lunch. Yeah. Um, so yeah, or it's good dessert. <laughs> it's usually what Greg likes to do. <laughs> mm -hmm. He's being honest. Since we're in uh, Detroit, I'll share my shirt with you. It says, I'm not mean because I'm from Detroit. I'm mean because I'm a Lions fan. So all you Lions fans out there, you can probably sympathize. I'm not a mean guy, that's probably a little harsh, but we've gone through some tough times and uh, we get a little edgy. Some people get hangry when they don't have food. Lions fans get hangry when they don't have wins. <laughs> so, like, we need a playoff win. We need a division win. We need a Super Bowl appearance. We need a Super Bowl win. Um, we're hungry for it. And um, I know you guys over there in Allen Park, you're doing the best you can do for us. We appreciate all the hard work. But, man, we're, uh, we're itching for it. So, I hope you guys know that. Anyway, back to Tropical Smoothie Cafe. <laughs> yeah, I and, have uh, nothing to say about that whole side of things, but I'm here for support. <laughs> yeah, well, her family, uh, some of them are Packers fans, some of them are Vikings fans, and I'm sure Vikings fans can sympathize with, uh, you know, very... Uh, disappointing playoff losses and Super Bowl appearances and that kind of stuff but and the Packers fans I mean you know you guys just have everything you get all the quarterbacks you get all the playoff wins you get all the Super Bowl appearances so be thankful hopefully you guys don't have a tropical smoothie cafe over there because at least we have something that you don't <laughs> <laughs> but anyway yeah tropical smoothie cafe Peanut Paradise and um, Island Green. Island Green. Thanks for watching. If you have any mm -hmm. uh, comments, feel free to leave them down below. Appreciate all your uh, support and um, I don't know. what you got. Anything? Nope. You got nothing. We got nothing. That's so, it. Peace out from peace Motown. Out. Bye.